Indian Mountain State Park. He's a park ranger over there, and we'd like to welcome him to our tree plant. Go ahead. I've prepared a few words to say about the town and the trees. Uh, but like you said, my name's Brett Baluti. I'm a park ranger at Indian Mountain State Park. Uh, but more importantly, I'm a lifelong Jellico resident and proud of it. And this is what I come to you as today as Jellico resident, not a park ranger. I would like to begin by saying that I'm very honored to be able to speak to you all for this tree planting. Uh, we will be planting a birch tree and this is in commemoration for Jellico's 140th birthday. Uh, I would also like to say thanks to a friend of mine, Mark Kibble, for helping me understand Jellico's very interesting history and providing me with help in writing what I'm going to say today. With all that said, I'd like to get into it. Jellico has a very long and storied past dating back to when the Smithburg Post Office changed its name to the Jellico Post Office in the year 1883. Some say it was due to the discovery of a seam of coal named the Jellico Seam. Others argue that it was because of the angelic plant that grew in the mountains. That is besides the point. Jellico made a name for itself in its infancy. However, this name was not what you might expect. It was a name of crime and lawlessness centered around the stretch of Main Street that we stand here today. Saloons lined the streets all the way into Kentucky. And it, it fueled this period in Jellicoe's past. However, this would be remedied around the turn of the century. A new era started during this turnaround. A nearly 50 year stretch of city improvement and progressiveness graced the town. However, this area, era of improvement didn't come without its hardships and disasters. From train explosions, or from explosions to train derailments, Jellicoe has seen more than what most towns would in that length of time. As the highs and the lows continue for Jellico to this day, it cannot be denied that this town and its citizens who call it home are nothing but resilient. This has been proven to me time and time again in my 28 years of calling Jellico my home. I remember when I was a kid and I would come downtown with my parents, I would see many of these historic buildings empty. And if they weren't empty then, they would be in the coming years. However, when I come downtown now, I see many of those once empty buildings having new businesses in them. And it shows a change, I think, for the town. Some improvements, some growth in this era that we are in now. I guess what I'm trying to say Jellico has had many ups and downs in its past, but through it all, it has survived. This tree will stand as a symbol of survival for the town and will hopefully survive for another, another 140 years along with Jellico. It will see more in its lifetime than any of us could ever imagine. Through everything, Jellico has survived and will continue to persist into the future. Happy 140th birthday, Jellico. Thank you.